Carlos and I am here yet with another Blender tutorial using Blender 2.5. In this tutorial I'll be teaching you how to add a texture to a simple model and that's simply because I'm going to show you how to add bumps, faking a bump to our to your plane. Uh, say for instance this is good for a video game or a model that you're building, say for instance if you're building a house and um, you know the house is not smooth if, if if it has smooth edges and fine if it doesn't if it's a brick wall um, bricks are not smooth unless you make them that way um, they have indentations and cradles and whatnot and I'll be showing you today how to fake that without having to model it and adding all those extra vertices into your into your object. Okay, so let me hit one to go into front view. Hit five on my numpad to get out of perspective view. I'm gonna hit this little. I'm gonna turn off the widget manipulator because it really bothers me it's by hitting this little icon right here. Goes off. I'm gonna hit X, delete, Shift A, select plane. I'm going to align the view on the left hand side. If it's if you don't see this panel here, it's probably because it's collapsed. If you hit T as in Thomas. It brings it up, T brings it, uh, it collapses it, T brings it on, T collapses it, okay? Alright, what I'll be doing right now is I'm going to open a new window by grabbing the cursor and uh, hovering over those little lines right there, or right here, uh, bottom left corner of the screen, or top right corner of the screen, I'll just do the right corner, and click, and drag gives me another window. I'm going to change it to the UV image editor by hitting that little icon. If you for some reason don't see it, just put the mouse cursor here. And, like, if you don't see it, just put the mouse cursor on this line and scroll up and all the way up until you get it. And then you go to the UV image editor. Um, I'm going to right click the object to make sure it's selected. This to scale and I'm going to hit four to scale it four times or four blender units okay and I'm gonna tab I'm gonna hit tab to go into uh, edit mode I'm gonna hit a make sure everything's selected by hitting a and um, hit U to bring the UV mapping menu and go to the smart project hmm. Oh, it's a plane, sorry. I thought a plane is only going to give you a plane, whether it's a smart. If it was a cube, it'll give you six different cubes here, but it's a plane. So, making sure that everything's selected here as well by hitting A. I'm going to go to Image. Sorry, Image. Open. I'm going to go to the desktop. If you're wondering why I have this here, I'm not a big um, Arnold fan. I was in my days uh, in Terminator. And now that I learned how to model in 3D, I uh, came up with this. I did this image right here out of this one and this one to create Terminator in 3D. But <laughs> whatever. I'm going to go to the desktop and I'm going to select that wood texture. Okay, there goes the wood texture. I am going to go to texture view by clicking on the little white ball, hidden texture, and we can see there the texture. Now it's upside down, or I mean whatever, you know, sometimes wood um, don't necessarily have to be up and down, like right here. It could be going that way, so I'm going to leave it like that. I mean it doesn't really matter, but if you wanted to turn it, just go to your UV um, grid, make sure that all your vertices are selected. Hit R to rotate and just rotate it. Okay, and it rotates it that way. <laughs> I'll go ahead and keep it like that. Okay, now I want to make sure that the camera is facing this object right here so that, so that when I go ahead and render, well, you know what? I'm not going to render. What I'll do is I'll hit, uh, let me tap out of edit mode, go to object mode. Let me hit N. It brings up this menu here, I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom where it says display I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom 
on display where it says shading I'm gonna say GLSL I don't know what it stands for but I do know that it gives you the um, the bump maps the textures shadows whatnot in real time so this is more like using video games the reason it went off like that is because I don't have this texture added on a material so let's go all the way to the left sorry all the way to the right click on the materials panel click new and then go to the checkerboard make sure that one of those checkerboards here is selected hit new the type you're gonna change it to image or movie the mapping under uh, coordinates is going to be UV coordinates and you're going to open the image which is on the desktop and what happened there let's try this again hmm. render Oops. Oops. Grab a light. Oh, that's what it is. <laughs> Sorry. Um, what happens there is it wasn't showing me the texture because there was no light. And um, you know, on a video game, if you don't have light, let's say this is you're creating a game such as like I don't know, Silent Hill maybe, and uh, Resident Evil. Or the example, good example here would be Silent Hill, where you would just put a spotlight, and this light right here was the one that that the guy carries around him, and let's say he walks, and it starts getting darker because the light's going away. Okay, so yeah. All right, let me hit five to get out of perspective view. Let me hit N again. Now again, the options here are under shading. G L S L don't know what it stands for, but I do know what it does. I make sure the texture solid is selected, and then hit N to collapse that. Uh, hit three on your numpad to go to side view, and your mesh is there. It's just it's a plane, so you can't see it, but it's there. Hit three again. I'm gonna grab the camera, and uh, I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna press and hold Alt R to clear the rotation. I'm gonna hit G to grab it to grab the camera. That is. And uh, I'm going to hit R now to go ahead and rotate the camera facing forward. So as if I go to hit zero to go to camera view, it's not perfectly aligned, but I can easily fix that by making sure that the dotted line, which is what the camera sees, it's uh, selected. Hitting G on the keyboard and just moving your, your uh, dragging your your mouse, and then you can see it there. The reason it's very shiny is because the specularity it's probably high so let's go ahead and bring that down by clicking on the here and um, you can go ahead and move around by uh, sorry by clicking the middle mouse button and just dragging your mouse it rotates the view zoom in and out by scrolling but if you wanted to leave this image as it is you don't want to move it around like that just wanted to pan the view just uh, press and hold shift and uh, press and hold the middle mouse button on the mouse and drag it and it you know pans the view rather than turn it all right while your mesh is selected go to the material